There's not many places in the world where you can come into a facility and see it from start to finish. From a concept or a design or coming back to a set of requirements from a customer to a finished ship in around 15 months to, to launch, not many people in the world can achieve those sorts of timeframes. We're pretty unique in a way that we get to build these world-class vessels and you get to see it evolve from a sheet of aluminium into a finished product and then ultimately lands in the water just out the door there. It's always a, a great sight. So Austal's an Australian company that's been around for 36 years started out building fishing vessels and has grown from there into, into building uh, fast ferries and into, into the defence market now. We don't have a, a product that we try and fit people into, we provide solutions and that shows in our, you know, the vast number of ships for different customers that we've built uh, all around the world. I think we're up to about 360 vessels for about 60 something countries. We still build ferries and commercial vessels in our yards in Philippines and Vietnam and predominantly in Australia we concentrate on defence vessels. Here we build the Cape class vessels and at our facility down the road at Naval Base we build our Guardian class vessels and the major difference between those two vessels is that the Cape class vessels are aluminium and the Guardian class vessels are steel. Aluminium is about a third of the weight of steel and it has great properties that lend itself to shipbuilding. It allows us to put some different types of equipment on the vessel, which is lighter, which provides greater efficiency and can meet the functional performance specification. You don't have to paint it. It forms its own you know, oxide protective layer, which lends itself to what we do. There's a lot that goes into these boats. Something like 50,000 individual objects that will go into an evolved Cape class patrol boat. So the team here are managing a lot of moving pieces. There's a lot of different skills and capabilities that come out of the team here. We've got a bit of a production line that happens here at this facility. We start out with raw sheets of aluminium and we start to bring that through into the various bays. The smallest is around three to four millimetres thick and then we go up to quite thick plate that might be up to 100 millimetres. Within each of those bays we have people with various skill sets. Electrical work and welding and fit out and fabrication. We've got 3,000 years collective shipbuilding experience here within the Austal precinct in Henderson. They're highly skilled. A lot of our talent is homegrown. We have a great apprenticeship program. We also have a lot of people in design who have been here for a long time as well. Anything that we use has to be DNV certified. The ships are built to classification society requirements and a part of that is we need aluminium that's certified. And you know, one of the great things about dealing with capital is we know that the aluminium will meet the certification requirements that we ask for. We've been working with Capital for over 25 years. I think one of the important parts about Capital is that long-term relationship that, that we have with them. It's nice to have a supplier where we can share a vision and we can share values and we can always pick up the phone and talk to Sarah or Nigel or Luke and they're always there to lend us a hand and provide us with some support. I think what we do in terms of clients and our suppliers like Capital it's about relationships. Having those relationships are key to being successful. The 36 year pedigree combined with the knowledge and skills and know-how to build aluminium vessels, that sets us apart. I think we've got a, a dedicated and experienced organisation and workforce that's passionate about delivering vessels to our clients. For a company that started out with only four people in a uh, shed over the back here in Henderson, to be what it is today, you know, 6,000 people, you know, five shipyards around the world, it's a great Australian manufacturing success story.